Hello debutantes and welcome to February. Today I have quite the thrift haul for you. I have purchased some things from OfferUp, from Goodwill, from Craigslist, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started to show you all of the amazing things that I got. All right, so let's talk about what I got secondhand. So my new favorite app is OfferUp, and when I was sick in January, I was on OfferUp constantly. So because I was on there so much, I snagged this sectional for my patio. It was only up for maybe two minutes and I paid $400 for this whole set. It has a love seat. It has this couch. Um, this is actually, uh, this is an ottoman so I can pull this away. I can use it as a coffee table. We can use this extra seating. Um, it's perfect. It is this like um, resin wicker that my um, lounge chairs that I bought at Target last year are made out of. And you can see it still has the blue shipping tape on the legs. This is how new this was. Um, all the fabric is Sunbrella fabric, which if you know patio furniture, that's a very expensive fabric. So um, it was listed for $500, but because we were able to pick it up that day, he gave it to us for $400. So isn't it pretty? I love it. And it has both sides have arms. So like I said, we can move this ottoman, it can be whatever. So the other things that I picked up on OfferUp, I got this cute little resin rooster for $5. Um, I have a rooster collection that started with my grandmother and now it's just so cute. And I actually looked at this and then passed it by and I said, you know what, I better get that. So I met the lady, picked it up, hooray! Now this, I actually got on Craigslist. I don't know if you watch the infomercials for Pio, but this full set, I think the cheapest I've seen it is for $75. I got this for 20 bucks. It was in the box, complete, fully shrink wrapped. And I've actually started doing this. Holy moly, is it hard. So $20, this whole set, but you'll see that I got a much better deal on one of these somewhere else. But very excited because this was brand new in the package with shrink wrap. The next thing I picked up is this ladder, not Cooper, but this ladder. Now I've been looking for a wooden ladder for a while now because I wanted something that was kind of beat up, had some paint on it, you know, had some life, some patina. So I found this on OfferUp. It was listed for quite a while. Hey, okay, don't pay attention to the dog beds back there. Um, and they were asking 20. So I said, is it still available? And is 20 your best price? He said, yes, make me an offer. So I was able to pick up this ladder. I wanna say it's six foot, probably six foot tall. Um, for 10 bucks. Now, obviously I'm not going to use it as a ladder because it's a little <laughs> rickety, but I want to use this as a blanket rack um, in my family room behind my sectional. So I think I am going to scrape up all the stickers, probably sand any rough edges because I certainly do not want my blankets to get snagged, but so I love it and I cannot wait to start working on it. Maybe we'll do a video and show you how I finish it off. So this is the, these are the things that I bought secondhand from somebody else that were not thrift store purchases. So let me bring all my thrift store stuff out here where it's light, focus, come on camera. Um, I haven't been able to film till it's dark, so we're gonna bring everything outside. All right guys, it's starting to get dark, so let me try and push through with the rest of the things that I bought. I bought this ginormous apple. It's just a decorative apple. Um, I think it's normally from like TJ Maxx or something. Let's see if we can see. Um, it's from Steinmark. And you can see that it says it was, uh, I think it was $4 I paid for that. And I love it. I'm gonna put it up in my kitchen. Let's not fall off the ladder. Then I was able to find this Pottery Barn Kids curtain panel. It's actually a full length panel, but it's a really heavy cotton and come on, it's red gingham. I love gingham. So I'm sure I will do something with this. This was less than $3. I picked up this cute Jolly sign and this Santa and another Christmas item. And you got three Christmas items um, for $2.79. I'll show you what was included that in a second. Isn't that cute? Um, I picked up this little plastic Valentine little thing. I'm putting together a cute little basket for my husband. So I thought for 99 cents, can't go wrong with that. 
This cute little basket was like 59 cents. It's from Yankee Candle. I just love the shape of it. It just looks so perfectly made. It's really quite, you know, it's really tiny. You see how tiny that is. Um, but I just loved it. I had to have it. Then I picked up this cute pumpkin canister. This was like $3. It has a small chip on it right there, but you won't really see that. Plus I could probably cover that up with paint. Um, I got a patriotic a basket. I want to say this was probably a dollar, maybe. And I picked up this Easter basket. It's really cute. It's got Easter lining. It is this white. It does have a handle. Um, I don't really do Easter baskets individually for each of my kids, so I figured this was a nice good size to kind of put candy in for all four of them. I bought this pineapple the bottom is glass and this top is like a resin i thought it was like a perfume canister or something but yeah that top doesn't come off but it's super cute and i was going to paint it but i put it with some of my other pineapples and i kind of like it then you see i bought this wooden pineapple little dish but let's just look at what's inside those are apple earrings. Now I have been looking for apple earrings. I cannot tell you for how long because I like to um, Disney bound as Snow White and I am loving those. They were $2.49. For Christmas, we purchased Maureen a margarita maker. Poor thing decided not to drink any alcohol or sugar or anything but water in January. So she will be getting these in February. I was able to pick up six brand new plastic margarita glasses and they were $1.99 for all six. I did pick those up at the Salvation Army. Um, the cheapest I've seen is at Goodwill are 79 cents a piece. So I snagged those post haste. Now this is a longa burger basket. Um, I think it's a recipe basket. I have not looked up the retail price, but I want to say I paid a dollar for this basket. And I love it. So if you want to look up longa burger baskets, they are extremely expensive. Now y'all, you know I love books to decorate with, so I got these really cute books. They were three hardback covers for $2.79. Bella, go away. You don't need to be here. So I picked up these for decorative purposes. Look at the cover of this red one. Isn't that gorgeous? And actually this um, Alistair Cook's America has some amazing illustrations in it. Let me see if I can open it for you and show you. I kind of have a thing for red because I have red accents in my house. Let's see if I can open this. I'm trying to work before it gets dark, people. But you see, so there's a portrait of George Washington. You could easily frame that. I just absolutely love this. So there you go. Now, here's the thing I was telling you about the Pio. I found this Pio set. It's missing two DVDs, the two bonus DVDs, and the packaging is a little beat up, but I paid 99 cents for this. 99 cents. So I think I'm going to try and sell it for like $15 on offer up. So I will have made money on that. Then I picked up some books to read. Um, Thelma Wells is from Women of Faith and just some other things an aromatherapy book. I'm really getting into my essential oils. So I picked those up and these were like 79 cents a piece. Now, here's one of my favorite purchases. I bought these two red linen pillows. They're about 22 inches square. And I thought, oh, how pretty they're red. And they have this beautiful rustic twine, which I just love. So I take them home. They were $3.99 a piece. I bring them home and I take the cover off because I'm going to wash it. And a bonus, there's another decorative pillow on the inside. And this is a Target decorative pillow. It kind of has a burlap feel. If you can see, it matches the red ones perfectly. So I pretty much got two pillows for $4 because whenever I go thrifting, I always look for down pillows. I don't care what size they are. If they're down, I pretty much pick them up because I know I can make a cover for them or I will find something like this and I can put it in. So how exciting was that? Then we come down to my white pitcher collection. I love white pitchers. I've been looking at this one from Ikea for the longest time, but I think that size is like $12.99. Yeah, I'm not paying $12.99. The price tag says $3.99, but that color happened to be half off that day, so that was two. This one is just such a cool shape. It's square, I just don't have one like this. And then this one, 
Um, it says $1.99, but that also was half off. But this is, can you see, a uh, Le Creuset, is I, am I saying that correctly? For a dollar. Come on, look that up online, people. That's an expensive picture. So I got those three, super cute. Then I found this bird cage, and if you've watched any of my videos where I decorate my shelf in my dining room, I have one of these about a third of this size, and this actually matches that one perfectly. This was like two bucks. Then I found this cute basket. This was $1.99. I have a thing for these chicken wire baskets. It just soothes my rustic heart, I guess, so I picked those up. Now, here we have brand new pillows from Kohl's. Brand new, still have the tags on them. They have the clearance tag on them. This one was, what does that say, $13.99? $13.99 was their final clearance price. Well, I guess they couldn't sell them. They gave them all to Goodwill. So these were $1.99 a piece, brand new. Now this pillow actually fell into the Christmas deal. So this and the other two Christmas things, I got for $2 and something. So for the price of the pillow, I got two more Christmas items. And then because this one was so small, the girl told me I could have it for 99 cents. So, brand new pillows with the tags for less than $2. How exciting is that? Now I have a bunch of clothes to show you, but those are probably gonna have to wait because I've lost my light. So I hope you love all of my secondhand and Goodwill finds. I hope it was All right, I actually have some daylight now so I can show you the clothes that I purchased this month. Um, the first thing are these Gap trouser jeans. Um, they kind of have the wide leg at the bottom, and these were $3.75 for these cute Gap white jeans. The next thing I purchased are these White House Black Market dark denim jeans. They also have um, the trouser bottom, you know, the little bit wider leg, and these were actually $2.00. Dollars. Um, they were half off, um, so I'm very excited about these jeans. The J. Crew sweater, this gorgeous sweater from J. Crew, was a dollar ninety-nine. It's not cashmere, but it certainly feels like it, and it is so soft and it's this beautiful, like grayish color, I guess. Um, I got this cute blue and white cotton three-quarter sleeve. It has the cute little detail right there. Um, I'm not sure what this is, 89th and something, but it's obviously a junior size because it's a large, but it fits like a small. Um, but I really, you know me and stripes, I probably have too many striped shirts. Um, that was $3.99. Um, I got this sweater, another stripe. Um, it's actually um, a loose knit, it's kind of see-through, um, not too too much. It's a real lightweight sweater, and this is a Marilyn Monroe brand. If anybody knows what store that is from, I would really like to know, and it's kind of nice and fitted, and this also was $3.99. And the last thing I bought was this Gap Super Soft, um, not quite three-quarter sleeve, tea i love this color it's more of an emerald green it's coming off kind of tealy and that was also 3.99 so those are all of my purchases all of my fabulous stuff and all of these great clothes um, i wash everything and then i laid them out so i could film so i haven't had the opportunity to wear them so now that i filmed i may wear this j crew sweater today so I hope you enjoyed my thrift and secondhand haul. Please thumbs it up if you like these videos and I would love to know what the best thing you ever purchased, either thrift, garage sale, secondhand, I would love to know. So please subscribe guys if you have not and I will see you all next time, bye.